Hello. Hello, hello, hello. Good evening, everyone. I hope you're well. I hope this Thursday finds you well. Um, it's time for another Thursday Night Live. I'm just going to click over on my laptop to my page to make sure I'm coming live in the right place. I'm going to turn you around a little bit. There you go. Sorry about that because get less glare. Hello, Carol. Good evening to you. I hope you're well. Let's have a look. And I can look in the right place as well. That I'm in the right place. Let's just refresh my page. Just to make sure I'm going live in the right spot. So do bear with me. Yeah. How are you, Carol? Are you all right? Yeah, I'm good. I'm live. Good evening, Lynn. You got home. <laughs> Excellent. Glad to see it. Just had a lovely walk around the lake, lake with Lynn. She came to see me. How lovely was that? It was amazing. Had a nice coffee. You remembered Carol, brilliant. It's always seven o'clock, always on a Thursday. <laughs> They're all there about, sometimes it's a little bit later. Very good to see you, Lynn. Good evening, Chloe. Oh, lovely that people are jumping on. How nice is that? Got a bit of fun home just in time, I'll bet. Hope the traffic wasn't too bad. Got a bit of a fun card for you tonight. Tasteful card. <laughs> Actually, it's the name of the stamp set. It's called Tasteful Touches. And I'm gonna show you how to make a lovely quick card with that one. It's in our new annual catalogue that's been live about a month. And uh, I thought I'd play with that. So, I'm missing you too, Carol. We must go for coffee. I'll um, message you. We can go for coffee and we can compare our stuffing up orders. We both put our orders in for the new autumn winter catalogue. Yeah, the Christmas word. <laughs> but, you know, us crafters, we need to get prepared, don't we? If we're going to make all our lovely handmade Christmas stuff, we've got to get ahead. And demos get an early peak, an early go at that. So that's good. Hi, Lucy. How are you? I hope you're all right now. How's your back? Hope it's got a bit better. I am going to turn the camera around and get cracking. Okay, here we go. Are you ready? Here we go. There we are. Get a bit of an idea of what we're doing, what colours we're using. Let's pop you in my tripod. Good evening, Jan. Lovely that you're here. So glad to see you all. Right, sorry about the shadow. That's just me. I'm going to move my light so that we don't get quite so much shadow. I have... Uh, Oh, I'm sorry you get signal issues, Lucy. Maybe it's, is it where you are? Great order today, I know. Oh, so exciting to be able to order the, uh, the new Christmas stuff. Oh my goodness. I did have a bit of an issue with my Christmas order from the brand new autumn winter one that's coming. Let me move my light and then you don't have uh, all that shadow. There we are. Um, and it was a great, great issue to have. There are so many gorgeous things in that catalogue. I just wanted it all. So, yeah, it took me quite a while to do my order and decide. Good evening, Lou. Hello, Mum. Lovely to have you. So I didn't quite know what colours to use this evening. So for ease, I picked out two, one of my favourite colour combinations. And I have got... Petal Pink and Smoky Slate with Whisper White. I'm just going to put the overhead light on. That might help things without so much shadow. Yes. Good evening, Margaret. Lovely for you to join us. Right, I have got a Whisper White card base, A4 card, scored in half and cut in half. I know this one, this catalogue. Hi, you. <laughs> this catalogue, I've never had so much trouble deciding. Um, never. Anyway, it's done, but it's not going to be the first, it's not going to be the last order, I know, I can tell you that now. Smoky Slate, half a centimetre smaller than the Petal Pink. Whisper White, half a centimetre smaller all the way. So the layers are Petal Pink at 14.3 by 10, Smoky Slate at 13.8 by 9.5, and Whisper White, 9 by 13.3. Hello, Jen. Oh, I've got a full house tonight. Love it. Excellent. 
Thank you, ladies, for joining me. So we're going to stamp on the Whisper White piece, and I'm going to move the other layers just out of the way for the minute. And this is the stamp set, Tasteful Touches, hence the name of the, the Facebook Live, Tasteful Paper Crafting. Um, I really love it. I love all these background stamps and this lovely big curly font and this just saying hello. I think it's really useful. So we're going to play with it. Hello, Rachel. Glad you're here. Excellent. So I picked out the matching stamp ink colours to go with it. I've got petal pink. I've got smoky slate. And I've got a darker pink. I picked out Rococo Rose to go with that. Okay, so I'm just going to have fun and just go for it. Here we go. Now, I need a scrap of Whisper White, which I've already got, and I was practicing stamping the flower out of this stamp set, and I'm going to stamp it a couple of times. In fact, I might just stamp one on there and stamp two on here. So I'm going to stamp one more on here, because I'm going to cut it out for the fun. There we are. So that's Memento because I'm going to colour it in with the alcohol blend pens and that gives the best effect using the Memento. It doesn't, um, it doesn't muddy when you colour it in. So that's that one. And then I think I'm going to do some background stamping in petal pink. So I've got my petal pink ink pad and I have got, let's move all this out of the way. I have got this little background stamp from the same set. I'm just going to do a little bit of stamping around. Hi Bridget, how are you? Lots of you here. How lovely. You can move this one around and get it to fit to make the pattern. <laughs> I just want a few of these on here, like so. There we are. And I'm going to leave a bit of a gap. Actually, I think I'm going to cut my... I think I'm going to put the Just Saying Hello over the top. So I'm hoping my ink colour will be dark enough to cope with that. So I'm going to put a few more in like that. There we are. That should do that. Let's, let's do this. Okay, so I'm going to stamp then. I've already stamped. I'm going to colour in my flower. So this flower... I'm going to colour it in and I've picked out some pens. I've got loads of those, but I'm going to make sure I use the working ones and get rid of the ones that are not. So this is a light and dark petal pink and I'm just going to use that to quickly colour in my flower. So the middle in the dark petal pink. The other end might be easier. Yeah. And I'm just shading it where... I think it'll be darker at the base of the petals, but I'm not really taking much care. It's just a bit random and that works. It's just an impression of shade. So you can have your colour any colour you like. I've just matching mine to go with the cardstock. Here we are. I do smell all these alcohol <laughs> blend pens. There we are. Do the middle. Hi Emma, how are you? Hope you're all right. Hope life's treating you well. There we go. So just a little bit of colouring in with the blend. You missed the name of the stamp set. It's Tasteful Touches, Jan. Hey, Helen, lovely to see you. Um, that's okay, you cook dinner. You can always cut it on replay if that's your want. You can just replay it on my Facebook page, 
post it in our group. Oh, and I also post them on my YouTube channel. So you can always go back at a later date if you don't want to scroll through everything, just find them there. I put them under a playlist, so that might make it easier to find. Here we go. So I'm just shading it in. And I'm being quick for the sake of the video, but you can take as long as you like. It's quite nice to do a bit of colouring, isn't it? And we're going to cut, cut them out, so it doesn't matter if you go over the edge a little bit. All right, there we are. Got two of those. Right, okay. I'm going to cut them out. Now, I've already got one somewhere. I've done here. So I've cut one out already, just to save a bit of time. I think my black ink pad needed re-inking, that's why that one's slightly paler and I uh, just grabbed my other Memento ink pad but I will just re-ink that one off camera so we don't waste your time. Right, here we are. Oh, the dog's trying to come in again. You are so naughty. He's such a pickle, my special guest, Alfie. And he's wagging his tail now. Yeah, you can wag your tail, bashing at the door. Colouring in is completely therapeutic, I agree. I do love this connection us Stampin' Up! family have. You can find people all over the world with the same love of crafting. Here we go connects us, brings us all together, doesn't it? Oh, snips, Lucy, if you've not got snips, yeah, you need snips. They're a must have. They're in my, can't, can't do without Arsenal. Brand new pair of snips. These are not brand new, but you know, that they're just the best scissors I've ever had. And the fussy cutting with them, as long as you just move the paper rather than the scissors. Yeah, it's great. I have a few pairs, they're all over the place. I do hide them when I'm not in my craft room now though. <laughs> Even though I use them for paper, I hide them because, um. Other fingers take them away and then I can't find them when I need them. <laughs> so do you guys come from near each other, Jen? That's amazing. I've not been following the thread too closely. Right. Sorry, it's taking a little while. I should have done this before, really. Then you have to sit and watch me fussy cut it all out. But there we go. I've done it now. It doesn't take long, does it? Okay, so I've cut out our flowers. They're going to go on here. I'm not even sure if I need three of them. I might just take... I don't know. I might take the three. I haven't quite decided yet. And then I'm going to go in with the grey. Now I'm not sure how this is going to come out. I have not practiced this at all, so it may not work. Just bear with me, ladies. I'm going to stamp straight over the top of this. I wonder how juicy my grey ink pad is. There's one way to find out, isn't there? Yes, we are. Oh, that's fine. It's not super juicy or anything. But... Oh. So I'm going for this fern stamp here. Let's bring this in. Let's 
going to go under my flowers. I'm probably going to bring it up a bit. Like that. And these are going to go on the top. Like so. Okay. I'm going to stick those down. Get my Tombow going. Oh, that's amazing. What a small world. Oh, oh no. Next door, we're taking their Labrador out for a walk. And I think Alfie desperately wants to go out there and play. So I have popped him out the back. He can go out there and bark to his heart's content. Yeah. Well, interestingly, oh, I'm glad you've got me in the background while you're cooking dinner. Interestingly, um, Lucy, I could make a dog card. I don't, I haven't bought the new Playful Pet Suite yet. It is on my list to get at some point because it's absolutely fabulous. And that would be the one that I would use. Although I still do have the dog punch that is current. But the other stamp set that went with it is not. It's retired. So I, if I could think up a, a nice little doggy card. I do have one to show you though, if that's any good. Because it's not a dog one, but it's a cat one. But you could um, just change it out. That one my lovely Stampin' Up! demo friend sent me because we lost our cat last week. We had to have poor Fluff put to sleep. And she sent me a beautiful card using the cat punch. Just lovely. And you could definitely change it up and use the dog punch. In fact, I might do that. Okay, so we've got our flowers and we've got our background. Okay. So all I did was I glued the middles of the bottom flowers with Tombow and I put I pop the top one up on a foam dimensional pad. I'm gonna see what it's gonna look like here like that and now my husband's just come in so it's all noise it's all noise right now what I need is a sentiment and I was gonna put just saying hello but it might be a bit big for this it might just be a bit big so I think I'm going to change it. I do love that, just saying hello. But I think I'm going to cha cha change it up for you are so special. You are so special. This one. Now he's telling the dog how much he loves him. <laughs> There's never, there is never a dull moment in my house. Honestly, never. I think we're that family who should be on Gogglebox, honestly. Oh, I'm glad you like it, Philomena. Good evening to you. So, I don't know whether to go for the grey or the pink. I think I'm going to go for the grey because I think we've got a lot of pink on there already. And I haven't even used the Rococo rose, so I'm not going to pop that one in because I think it might confuse it. I'm just going to stamp it in the grey. You are so special. I know a few people who would be very deserving of this card. And I'm actually, I could just cut it out in a rectangle. So if you have the stamp set and not the dies, you could still easily make a card like this. Um, but I'm going to use the dies. So all of these dies come with the bundle that go with this stamp set. So these are the Tasteful Labels dies. And you can see that they go around the sentiments beautifully. And I think this one here... I don't know if the little banner is big enough for this sentiment. No, so let's take that one away. But I do think that one fits perfectly. So I think you are so special. And I'm going to just pop that through the big shot. Just a second. I've got it right next to me here. A little bit of washi tape to hold it in place. We have a got a brand new Big Shot. Oh, thanks, Lucy. Not Big Shot. Die cutting machine. We've got a Stampin' Up! own one. 
being released, which is in our annual catalogue. You will have seen it. It just wasn't ready for release yet, and it's coming. I think the, one of them, I don't know if it's the big or the small one, is coming in August. So I can't wait to get that because I really need a new one. It'd be great for Christmas, early Christmas or a birthday present. It is a lovely set. Yeah, Helena, you you should. It's lovely. I'm just going to cut this out because make it a bit easier. Honestly, that one just could just like hop into your basket, just like <laughs> accidentally fall in. That'll be all right, wouldn't it? I had a lot of things accidentally fall into my basket this morning. <laughs> I actually needed it. I actually needed it, but you know. <laughs> so I've popped that one out. Let's put that one here. You are so special. And actually, I don't know if you can see, but it embosses a border. Really pretty. And I'm going to pop that one up here. And I might. I'm not sure if I should put a little bit of pink on there or just leave it. I'm going to leave it white. So assembly time. I'm just going to glue. But I'm going to use, if I can find it, my new stamp and seal. I've been using it tons. I'm keep waiting for it to run out, but it hasn't yet. But surely it must do soon because I haven't stopped using this since I've got it. I love it. No messy, no mess, no messy glue. Let's make sure I do the right layer. Oh, yes. Oh, yeah. There you go, Mum. <laughs> Perfect for that. Always, you know me. Always some stash, but very lucky because we get as a demo we get our discount, so it's quite it's quite good, especially when you buy a substantial item, you get a really good discount. Oh, and don't forget, ladies, if you purchase anything in July, if you spend forty five pounds or any any amounts of forty five pounds you get a voucher for £4.50 off in August. So I did quite well on my order today. Ready for my August order. There we are. So that one's on there and that one's on there. I don't think I'm even going to bother with any ribbon. I'm happy with it. No, I don't know why that is, Jen, but I will find out for you. Sometimes, um, if one of item in a suite is on back order, maybe a gem or pack or a ribbon or something, it means that the one product number that you would use to order the entire suite won't work. It may be the suite, it may be there's something in the suite on back order. Other than that, I don't know. But um, what you can do then is go in and just order all the rest that you like. They just need the individual codes, if that's the case. But I will definitely go in after the live and find out for you. Hey, Joe, how are you? Lovely to see you here. How is your robot, um, your robot hedgehog coming along? I want to know. I want to know. It looks amazing. You are so special. So there we go. That's that one. Right, I've got some gemstones to pop on it. As always, got to have a bit of bling, haven't we? So I didn't know whether to go for the gold um, gilded gems or the rhinestones. What shall I go for? The gilded or the rhinestones? You're never late, Joe. You can come in any time you like. It's always here, isn't it? Oh, I'm glad you like it, Claire. It was just off the cuff, this one. What do you think about these? It's starting to look like a hoggy. Excellent. Your hedgehog robot. Uh, gilded. I agree, Margaret. I'm going to go with those as well. I'm glad you said that. I've hardly used them yet. They're so beautiful. Let's take them out. These come as part of the... Um, Ornate garden suite. Either could work, definitely. Now, big ones. Oh, there's just too much choice. Big ones or small ones? Small ones. I've got a smudge on there. 
Not anymore, I haven't. <laughs> Put that there. Don't even know if it was one, but maybe it's gone anyway. It's the hair. Naughty doggy barking like that, wasn't he? Honestly. Does like to show me up. There we go. You are so special. Let me move those gems out of the way. Um, now, look what I've got here. Oh, I'll show you a tip as well. Oh, I'm glad you like it. That's good. I have got a new Wink of Stella. Now, because it ran out, I needed a new one. So, Wink of Stella. If you ever get your Wink of Stella, you have to start it off. But the key is... If you don't know what it is, I'll tell you what it is. Sorry about that. It's like a little brush with glimmer, kind of shimmery glitter on the end that you can use on your projects. It's not even glitter. It's very, very subtle. It leaves a, like a glimmery sheen, really pretty. Um, but the trick of it is when you get a brand new one, this black ring to make it flow has to be removed. I don't know how many people have asked me why this doesn't work. I did exactly the same. So you need to unscrew this brush top Take the black ring out and discard it. Then this one will bring the fluid through there into the end, like so. And then you just give it a shake. And with a bit of luck, it should eventually come through the end. See, it's starting to come through in there. Oh yeah, I see it coming. Oh yeah, you see it shimmering on my hand like that, see? So that's how it works. And I'm going to put some on our flowers. Why not? And it is very subtle, so it's no, there's no gaudy bling. It just gives a little sheen. Oh yeah, I like that. didn't bring my drink in with me tonight. Poor, isn't it? Have you all got a nice glass of something? I hope you have. There we are. See, it's quite come through quite well because it's a new one. There we are. Now, I don't know if you can see the shimmer. Thank you. He just about, just catches the light. Oh, there you go, Sylvia. It's actually, I think it catches so many people out. You just take out the black little ring, you give it a little squeeze until you actually see it coming through. And then you know, in fact, you can't really catch it very well, but it's really quite shimmery. I think quite a lot came through, so maybe don't squeeze it as much as me. Jim's just taking the dog out for a walk. No, I can hear the dog. He's just gone out for a walk. We both like to do our 10,000 steps every day and he's gone out to catch up on his because he's been working all day. So there's our finished card. I hope you like it. I really do. I actually quite like this. I love the stamp set. The bundle's really pretty. So it's just a quick one I wanted to share with you tonight. Do you know what? That is my go-to, um, is this lovely colour combo of Petal Pink and Smoky Slate. Love it. I'm glad you do. I want to share some cards with you, ladies. And just grab them all. Now, some of them are a bit worse for wear. Since lockdown... Oh, I'm glad. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. You're all very, very kind. Since lockdown, um, right back at the beginning of March, I've been sending out cards to people. Um, and I've had loads of beautiful cards sent to me and they've all been dotted around my craft room. They've been dotted around my living room, my kitchen mantelpiece, everywhere. There's another one there. Let me grab that. So all I can say is if you've sent me one and I don't show your card tonight, I'm sorry. It just means it's still up in pride of place <laughs> somewhere in my house. <laughs> So I'm just going to quickly go through and show you what I had. This one is really pretty. This one is from our old demonstrator development manager. She's not old at all. I didn't mean old, but she's she's um, 
taken some time out and she's left her post and now she's got a new grandchild to play with and we've got a new D lovely DDM but this is from Paula Gorry and she sent this to me um, at the beginning of lockdown and thanking me for working for the NHS which I thought was absolutely lovely so that one was from Paula um, this one is from my friend Liz Yule she sent me this using the lovely you um, bundle and the flowers for all seasons DSB she sent me that saying don't work too hard and she's thinking of me oh I love this one this one's from Jo it's one of those do you remember when I made the waterfall cards she made this one with the gorgeous poppy papers and poppy stamps thanks Jo I love this card so I've kept them all um, this one is from Lynn Tara Hunt and she's used the um, umbrella one. What's it called? Under My Umbrella stamp set. And she's used the fine tip glue pen, I think, or glossy accents to make the welly boots nice and shiny. So that's a lovely one. Saying that she's thinking of me and that she watches us every week. Bless her. How nice is that? This one is for from Hillary. I had this one recently using the jar of um, jar of love. These are retired. No, they're just stunning. This this card and this um, stamp set. She used vellum to make the jar and the water. How beautiful! Um, this one is another one from my friend Liz. Oh no, this one's from. No, I've got another one somewhere from Liz. This one's from Carol. Thank you, Carol. That's a thank you card for her wedding anniversary gift. She's used the ornate garden set there. And I love the gold. I really love that gold on this the ornate garden layers. I really like that a lot. I might have to play with that with the vellum on gold. Really beautiful. This one is from Margaret. Thank you, Margaret. Everything is rosy. Some of my favorite papers. And this Melon Mambo ribbon is gorgeous. Isn't it pretty? I like what you've done with that. Two different papers. I've got a nice thank you card from Claire. Thank you, Claire. I know you're on the live. This is gorgeous. This is using the Blossoms in Bloom. Now, I used some of the stamps that go with this on Tuesday's copy and cards, but this is how the dies work. Aren't they stunning? They're just beautiful. This is a gorgeous bundle. Thanks, Claire. I love it. It's really pretty. I love your colours and your silver foil. This one is another one from Margaret. Say thank you for the inspiration and the lives and the card making. She's used the Magnolia um, Memories of More cards and the papers that we had. That's a postcard from my mum. I always keep those. Let me put that to the side. Oh, here's a thank you card from my friend Liz. It was on my kitchen, <laughs> on my kitchen windowsill. I kept getting splashed with water, but I kept up there for such a long time. It's a little thank you card from Liz Yule. This one is from Jan, using the bundle that we had, the digital download for COVID relief that Stampin' Up! brought out to raise money for COVID relief. And she's done this, thank you for your sacrifice for working for the NHS. Thanks, Jan, that is such a lovely card. What about this stunning beauty? How gorgeous is that? That's Forever Greenery. But Carol, I know you're on here. Carol, it's gorgeous. To a friend that makes me smile, she's used some of the enamel, glitter enamel dots and the rings, these come in this suite, the Forever Greenery suite. And I don't know if you can see the embossing folder. Love, love, love it. Just saying that she's, she's missed me during lockdown. I love that. Um, this one is from lovely Linny, who I went out for a walk with today. She's used the Blossoms in Bloom stamp set. Can you see how different that is? You can get so much from this stamp set. They're completely different cards, aren't they? The beautiful ways you touched my heart with a beautiful message inside. Thank you, Linny. At Easter, I got this one from Carol using the inspiring, your inspiring stamp set. That one's retired now. So pretty, isn't it? I got another happy Easter card from Jan. And I love these papers. This one, look at this. <laughs> This is from Louise, who comes to my coffee and cards, and she sent me this, and she's she's done a lot of tearing and layering and stamping, and she's hand-stitched Easter. Wishing you peace this Easter. Isn't it gorgeous? Uh, what else have we got? 
One using the bees. Gem. I should have known. This has been up in my living room. I've kept my bee set. I'm not letting go of it. I love it. Look at that. Isn't it so stunning? Thank you, Jen. Wishing you all the best. This is one from Carol, I believe. Yeah, sending hugs. Look at this. Isn't this stunning? I love this. I can't remember the name of this one. Please remind me because I can't remember it. It's lovely. And that one's from Linda. Linda, this, this is from Linda Clark. This is my lovely friend. Absolutely lovely. And she's put, no matter the weather, we're friends forever. And this is from a kit that we've had. Uh, life is better with a friend like you. This was the Parisian Blossoms papers. Aren't they beautiful? And that one's from the lovely Hilary. Thanks, Hilary. I love this card. I mean, I had these weeks and weeks, but I thought it would be nice to get them out and show you all the different cards that I've had. And this one's from Joe. Thank you, Joe. I loved these papers when we had them. Oh, I did so much with these, used loads of them. Just gorgeous. Just a little note to say I'm thinking about you. And there's a bit of a big one coming up. Hang on a minute. Let's move this these out of the way. There's a bit of a big one coming up because this one is from my friend, uh oh, our friend Valerie, Val. It's not stamping up this one. I don't know who, which company made this, but she's gone to an awful lot of trouble. She's a bit of an artist with her work is Val and she always makes, makes the most elaborate, amazing, beautiful cards. And she's very good at mixed media. And this is all embossed and shiny and stamped over. And um, I don't know, but it's stunning. And then on the back, you get this. Gorgeous, isn't it? And then she will have printed me a message inside and then there's the butterfly inside. Work of art. Love it. So those are all the cards. And then I was very lucky today that when I saw my lovely friend, Linny, who's on the live, she gave me this gorgeous card Make, using the same stamp set that we've just used tonight, using this Tasteful Touches. Um, and she's made this one. That is pretty, isn't it? So she's stamped the flowers as well. She's inked them up. She's used the little pearls. I think it might be Tim Holtz, Carol. I think you're right. So she's used those and she's used the little pearls inside. And this, I don't know what she's cut it out of or if it's embossed and cut in white embossing, but it's shiny. The feather and then we've got some of that beautiful bumblebee ribbon and a lovely message inside from my lovely friend Linny. So thank you everybody. I just wanted to show you so you got some inspiration and you could see all the lovely things and I think it's time I started sending some more cards out. There we go so that's me for tonight. As soon as I get my Christmas catalogues you will be getting one if you don't already have one if you're in my team you'll already have one and you'll be able to order already but other than that next month and thank you for joining me and hopefully i shall see you on tuesday so have an amazing weekend and i'll see you soon thanks guys thank you bye